together from remote galaxies are 13 of the most sinister villains of all time, the Legion of Doom. Dedicated to a single objective, the conquest of the universe. Only one group dares to challenge this intergalactic threat. What is up, everybody? It is Friday night. It is our end of the year party. Well, Merry been, Christmas. Wow. Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy Festivus. Happy Hanukkah, Festivus, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Whatever you're celebrating. Holidays are here. Absolutely. And thank you for joining us. Welcome to Three Men in the Basement. I'm your host, Otto, coming to you live and direct from the grotto. And if I have Otto to my uh, right, I always have. Roger Levesque. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And straight out of Jersey, we have our boy. What's up? It's the Jim Jim Red Man himself, Nemesis Prime. Yeah. Hang it out. Man, this is a great show. Hey, congratulations to Three Men in the Basement for hitting a thousand subs. Thousand subs. Man. Thousand subs. Yeah, there we go. Man. Justin, fist bump right there. Yeah, there bump. we go. You know, we started this. Um, I do want to talk about this for all of 10 seconds. When we first went live on Instagram, well, that's how this started. I'm going to tell you guys, I took my phone on a selfie stick uh, and added duct tape duct to a chair, yes. right? And it fell over. <laughs> yeah, and it went sideways or it died. So the fact that uh, everybody Battery stuck with died, us. died, the phone went sideways. Yeah. We had our kids trying to fix it. Oh. Absolutely. So the fact that, you know, we survived all that. We made it through the entire year. We hit 1,000 subs. That was my benchmark. I'm very happy for that. Uh, thank you, everybody who watches us and supports us and comments on all of our videos and everything. We've got some great stuff that we're going to give away to you today, but we do want to talk about our sponsors. All right. So as you know, the three men in the basin have partnered up with rocket comics. Rocket comics is your one-stop shop for pressing signature series and comic book cleaning. Okay. So please check out rocket comics. He donated the book that we're giving away right now, our grand prize, which is a 9.8 lethal protector. Uh, he's also giving discounts to uh, first-time customers, and he will give you 20% off your first pressing invoice. If you send 10 books, you're going to get 20% off that entire invoice, okay? Cool. So it's not multiple. And then for returning customers, just because we know that once you use his product once, you're going to be a believer just like I am. Um, he took my 916 Titans 2 blue label, had it double-signed, and pressed it up to a 9.8. And that was the biggest karate chop I ever gave. So returning customers by using the code 3MIB will um, will receive 10% off. So we're very happy about that. Also, um, I do want to give a shout out to our boy Nate Oswaldo at Slab Stands, okay? I'm a huge fan of Slab Stands, first and foremost, okay? I think they're great accessories um, to everything that we have for your comic books. What they are are their wooden blocks that have um, a piece that holds your comic, holds them up to actually um, support your comic books. Well, this, this one's on my hair. Yeah, so as you can see, I had a custom three men in the basement. Will you suck it? I have a gift for you. You do? I do, I do, I do. No, you yeah, don't. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. So, no, you don't. Here you go, my good friends. It's here, underwear. Here you go. Pink. Merry <laughs> Christmas from me to you. From Pink. Yeah, so I got it in pink. <laughs> I thought really you'd do. enjoy it. All right. I love pink. It's yeah, my favorite it's underwear. Favorite store. You got a present for me. Imagine yeah. that. What could it, it be? It is Festivus. I'm guessing. It's your own oh, slab stand. Oh, no way. See? This is unbelievable. Yeah, my yeah. own three-man in the basement slab stand. Yeah. And guess what's going on there, first what, thing. What's that? ASM 300. Right on it. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys, because... um. Very nice. Yes, I had a, I had some custom ones made, and I know you guys are big supporters of us, so I want to give something away right now, okay? I have an extra three men in a basement slab stand. That, yeah, this is yours, but I want to show it off. <laughs> that we're giving away. I'm going to give away right now, and you have to comment. Uh, it's a two-part question, and you have to comment in the questions order to win it, okay? So if you're a fan of three men in a basement, you know that my good friend Roger Levesque <laughs> has not been lucky with some CGC submissions, okay? Yeah. So I am here for your pleasure. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so if you've been a fan of the show, Roger, do you want to ask the question? It's a two-part question. Okay. No, you go ahead. All right. So, I, so to win question. a slab stand, to win a slab stand, I would like to know what modern book did Roger submit and get a horrible grade? So tell me the name of the book and what the grade was, okay? 
And while we're doing that, the most hangry I've ever been. That's your most hangry, right? <laughs> People want you to like slam that up against yeah, the wall. So starting right now, tell us what book that was and what the grade was. <laughs> Thanks, Timo. And I will He's say like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep track of this while yeah. that's going on. And I will give you um a I will send you a three minute of basement slab stand. While we're doing that, I want to give a shout out to the Dark Lord of the Sith himself, Tivo, big lion cat. Rag seven one eight. What's up, my boy? Just saw your video. Real good stuff. David a cave. David a cave hit it. Yeah. What did David? Eight times twelve. Uh, it was it eight point oh though? Oh, it's a two part question. It's a two part question. So if you follow up with David a cave, <laughs> uh, man from B Town, off white pages. It might have been off white pages, <laughs> but that was the third part. So that would have uh, been a third part. That would have been a third That's part. A We're not special. saying that. So no. it was. Uh, we definitely know it was a T Titans twelve. But tell us that grade. All right. Oh, uh, Matt Forge got it. Matt Forge, Matt yes. Forge. It was an 8.5. 8. 8. Teen Titans 12. Yes. So, they Matt. Glossy black pages, and they gave me Off-White. 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 On a modern book. Modern book, eight and a half. Unbelievable. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic. So, uh, that's awesome. So, Matt, please send me your info, and I will get you your own slab stand out to you very quickly. All right? Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Now. What we want to do is, is we just want to talk about some recent pickups. I got a CGC delivery. We're going to do the giveaway um, in two different parts, <coughs> but we just want to uh, get it going right now. So um, I recently picked up some books. I know I've kind of been in a lull. Christmas has been expensive with the kids and stuff like that. I'm sure we're all been feeling it. Yeah. Probably, but probably um, kids. I do have, uh, I went to the LCS today and, you know, in our chat between TiVo and he's a big Dr. Strange here. And he told me about the, um, the, uh, the Surgeon Supreme. So I'm a Doctor Strange fan. I've become one, especially since I've become a, I've been a real Ditko fan. So this was the Doctor Strange Surgeon Supreme that I picked up first book. Nice. But every one in five came with a green label, and the scalpel was in the other hand. Look at that. So I went to the LCS, and uh, I don't know one in five, Justin. Right? Consider that a variant. There we yeah, go. I'm surprised they still had them on a on a Friday after release day. Yeah, absolutely. And I, so I picked up both of these, and I think they're really cool. Um, and I think Phil Noto, oh, Phil Noto did these covers, and I like Phil Noto's uh, work. I think he does a great job with his stuff. So I, I picked those up, and I wouldn't have known that if I wasn't part of a group that's a lot smarter than I am. You know? So uh, pretty cool. That's not then, my, that's not hard to do. It's not hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> so then our boy Bernie1869, who I'm sure is in the chat, um, wanted was going to an LCS today, and he had a little coupon for 20% off. And I knew they had this one book for a good price. And I said, hey, Pat, pick this up for me. And he did. Uh, and you know what? The more that we talk about this book, we talked about it on the long-term spec list on Lords of the Long Box, uh, the more, the less and less I see it. And I, it's a key book. It's Captain America 193. Uh, and it is the Mad Bomb book. Uh, the relevance of this is this is when Jack Kirby came back to Marvel. Okay. Uh, doing DC. And if my memory serves me in our long-term spec list, we said that this is uh, hopefully what the Winter Soldier and Falcon, Justin, right? They're going to try to bring that into the storyline. Yeah, he's going to be one that. of the characters showing up in that series. So it's Absolutely. And you know, we did a little backstory on this. And nice book, presents yeah. well, I think, with a press. Uh, one little color-breaking tick, I might send this to Rocket Comics and have it submitted because classic Kirby, classic Captain America, pretty neat. Um, and now I want to show you about the deal of the day. Oh, and just so you guys know, uh, this was $50 and I had a 20% off coupon. Nice. Or, so that's it. So just wow. so you know where we're getting the books from. Now, um, my LCS, one of our LCS is Heroes and Hitters, which I did a little story on, has gotten a bunch of books and Wayne and Eileen are very good people. And so I hit them up and I just, he had a bunch of books and I grabbed them all and I don't own a slab copy of this book, which I can't believe it. And Justin called me out on it like six months ago. <laughs> I didn't own a Transformers number one by Bill Segovich because the one I had was my book from a kid and I just read it, read it so many times right. and it was unbelievable. So my friend Wayne had one, two, three, and four. So I picked them all up. Uh, one is in very good shape, except there's one color breaking spine tick right here. Um, and I'm going to do my research and see what that gets knocked down to. I know it won't be a 9.8, but for the price that I paid for this entire lot, uh, I think I'm well ahead of the game. So I'll, uh, I'll show now, that to you. Now it's an 8. Yeah, right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, I, and I buy this as many times as I can because it's a pretty cheap book, Avengers 227, 
Captain Marvel, um, Monica Rambo joins the Avengers, a cheap book to pick up. You know, we'll see what happens with her. Uh, another book that we've been specking on that I like to pick up, X-Men 107. Uh, this is first Star Jammers. And, you know, when Marvel goes cosmic, when the X-Men come out, they've got to introduce the Star Jammers. Um, so I picked that up. I love that book nice. right there. Uh, another book I picked up was uh, X-Men 119. I'm trying to get like from 94 to 135 all graded. I mean, that'll be, I'll get that by the time I'm 60. But uh, this is a very, very nice copy. I picked that up. Also picked up um, Amazing Spider-Man 365, which is first appearance of 2099, right? Uh, I thought this was a 9-8 candidate, but the corner has got a little tear in the bottom, so it's not. Um, and then I picked this up. Now, this book, to quote Bernie 1869, if this book doesn't come back at 9-8, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to quit the game. I can't believe it. I picked up another copy of Omega Men number three. And uh, this book is absolutely pristine. I've looked it over. Uh, I will press it, though, just to make Where sure. Where did you get that from? This was all part of the lot from Heroes and Hitters. Oh, okay, so nice. for this entire lot, I said, Wayne, just give me a price. Um, and there were some modern books in there, too. So I showed up one day. I showed up you know, a day ago. And I said, Wayne, what do I owe you for those books? He goes, Ev, Merry Christmas. You owe me 75 bucks. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that Damn. logo alone is could be a $60 book. $60 that Transformers book, yeah. is a $45. Mm -hmm. those X-Men. So um, I know some people had asked us on a channel what um, you know, what we pay for the books and stuff like that. So I paid $75 for that whole lot. And you know, uh, I will get impressed. I will send them out to CGC. So that's Sweet. it. Justin, who do we have in the live chat right now? What's going on? Oh, uh, we got, you know, we got rags is in there. We got triple, triple C's collectibles. We have, uh, of course, TiVo's hanging out. Randy Sloan, Pope Cerberus, Sith Eyes, who's uh, Sith AF changing his name. Uh, Bayou Boy Entertainment's hanging out with us. Wolf Blitz, Beach City Comics. Happy New Year's, boys. Thank you so much. Uh, and, you know, do you have any anything else there, Otto? Or, uh, uh well, no, I do have a CGC Unrival. Why don't we talk about our comic swap? Yeah, um, yeah. We could definitely get into that for our, our 2020. So yeah. as you guys know, we've done two comic swaps in 2019 in Connecticut, and they were big successes. Uh, I, went, I We wanted to bring it into the New Jersey market where, you know, my home state is. And, you know, a lot of people that are in the New Jersey, New York market really want to have those people attend. So it's going to be uh, Saturday, February 29th from 1 to 5 p.m. It's at the Frenchies Bar and Grill in my Frenchies. hometown. <laughs> Frenchies, where I grew up, uh, exit 137 right off the Garden State Parkway, literally two minutes right off there. So uh, they have a downstairs hall. So we're going to have the entire hall to ourselves. If you guys want to set up, please contact any one of us. And if you just want to come by, just come by anytime between one to five. You know, we're going to be doing uh, giveaways. We always have some trivia going on, some some raffles. We do buy in raffles. Yep. Uh, we're going to try to do a live show there. Uh, that's the only thing that we're a little scared of right now. But other than that, guys, it's, it's a great time. Uh, a lot of people in the community have come for the last two shows for both Connecticut's. So uh, I definitely want to have a good turnout for this New Jersey upcoming uh, February 29th. It's a, you know, it's a Saturday, yep. so, you know, keep the girlfriend, keep the wife at home. So uh, I'll, I'll go to the mall. Like I'm sending our, our wives. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm definitely going to have to tell you where, where to send them for that day. So, and if we don't do a live show at, at, at that show, I mean, we'll definitely do it Saturday night somewhere. Yeah, so we're definitely going to do that. And uh, you know what? And just to give you guys an idea of what the swap is, the swap is pretty much just kind of like a meet and greet get together. But if you got a couple short boxes, bring them. Yeah. You got some slabs. Um, and listen, if you show up at one o'clock and there's only five people there, please give us some time because people yeah. got to show up. Like <laughs> at the last swap, some guys came and they left within 20 minutes. And then next thing you know, within an hour, I had 45 people yeah, there. Right, so exactly. uh, this isn't really formal. Nobody's paying for space or anything like that. Nope. We're all um, if you're, we're all set, if you're up setting there. up boxes, get there early. If you're just browsing, Give it an hour or two. Yeah. And let me tell you something. I think the NY Warriors need to show up to this swap. If of we're course. that close, Nick's has got to show up. Erod's got to oh, show up. Absolutely. I, I, we're, you we're, you know, we're expecting some type I didn't of even representation. Think that was a question. Right. Absolutely. And uh, I didn't we, that was a question. And if there's any brothers from the Comic Book Fiend Club in that area, we know there's a few of you guys. Please try to make it. Um, this is what it's all about trying to get together and do our stuff like that. So. Uh, I do have a CGC unboxing, but Justin, do we want to do the first half of our giveaway, or do I want to do my? Yeah, unboxing? I think uh, I think we could do. Uh, we could start some giveaways tonight on this yep. awesome live show. So, yeah. uh, 
let's uh let's start let's show what we're gonna do for we're gonna do uh prizes six five and four yeah six five and four so All let's right. get uh let's see what we got for our sixth place so our sixth place unfortunately for the 900 subscriber giveaway only one person contacted me about winning so i put his books aside uh and like i said in the uh like I said in the last video, we're just going to donate them again. So all of these books will be part of the um, <coughs> sixth place. place. Okay, yeah. so you're going to get Batman 59. Bang. Latina, I believe. You're going to get Nightwing 57. Bang. You're going to get Nightwing 61. Bang. You're yeah. going to get Justice League Odyssey 9. Great cover right there. Yep. You're going to get Superman Action Comics, 1008. Bang. All right. And you're also going to get this Wonder Woman, which I think is Clayton Crane, is just a phenomenal Wonder Woman cover. Mm -hmm. yeah, right? Look at that. That's so cool. that's all one lot. Tell about a rainbow. Yeah. He loves, right? those yeah he loves the rainbows. So there you go. So that is going to be our sixth place winner. Justin, I turn it over to you and the power of technology to see who's going to win this. All right. So let's do some uh, some screen sharing, some audio. Hope everybody likes to see this. So we are have our end of the year. The URL is already in there. We're going to throw in the hashtag for 3MIB, three men in a basement, and see what okay. we got. All right. So we have a total of 89 people. Yeah, uh, did this. So let's start this ravel and see who our sixth place person is. All right. To and guys, uh, Everett underscore Otto on Instagram. DM me, send me your address, and I'll get these books out to you. Please give me a couple days um, to get this stuff out to you. All, All right. right. So Forbidden in uh, Ignand, I G N I Z, is our All sixth right. place winner. All right. There we go. So Forbidden uh, Ignand. Please contact me um, uh, on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I can't wait to get these out to you. Want to give a shout out to Pops Foster, who's running uh, a great Facebook page for us. Pops, thank you very much. <coughs> Pops does a great thing where he talks about investing and what books are good and what books are not. Uh, Pops is running a real great community where he talks about, he's just provoking some type of great conversation. And comic book talk is really great. So Pops, shout out to you, brother. Keep doing what you're doing. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Um, all right. So. That's our sixth place winner. Rod, you got that? Yeah. All right. I think so. Okay, you got that. For <laughs> I'm Ign trying to rewind the video. The Ignis, just for, yeah. I Don't worry. I you just that. watch it on the rewind. Yeah, we can watch yeah. it on the rewind, okay? All right. All right. Now, so what do we got for fifth place? Fifth place, we have a 9 8 comic book. We're going to, fifth place is. A 9-8 pit number one, which was supposed to be our grand prize, but nobody uh, commented on it. This book was donated by the great K.P. Henderson to us. So somebody's going to win right now a 9.8 pit, which is a great book. And any 9.8 is a great book, in my opinion. Yeah, so, absolutely. All right. Especially so, when it's free. Yeah, exactly, right? If it's free. <laughs> my God. All, all right. right. So let's uh, put this back on to our comment a randomizer and we're going to pick another winner so for fifth place and you cannot win again that yeah. is the only deal you cannot win again fifth place going to wild s flower there you go all right what new names these are all new subscribers that's very awesome yeah and we right. the comment is i'm still a newbie to your channel but so far i really enjoy your comic haul videos i'd love yeah. to see more content of comic book hunt where you find it, how you manage to get it, etc. If you haven't already been doing that, keep it up. Your channel is awesome. Congrats, by the way. Thank you, Wild nice. Flower, for that. Uh, we definitely, uh, we definitely like to do some of those comic hunts. Uh, if you check back some of our old videos, Otto does go to some of the local comic shops that he does up in Connecticut and does some of the videos. Uh, I would definitely want, look to plan and do that in 2020 as well. So, yeah. Hey guys, what, what, why the comments were so important to us is because. We want to keep this relevant, right? We want to keep yeah. this relevant. We want to keep this fun. Yeah, it's and about making sure we're doing the things that you guys want to see. Right, exactly. And we don't mind doing it because it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. So, you know, all I mean, your we comments. Joke around, we joke around. We're a couple of idiots. Right. But the, the truth is we enjoy talking about these things. Correct. 
And we want to make sure that what we're talking about is the things that you guys want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, right. And then that's where it drives us. So all your comments have really been the template for what Justin Roger, Birdie 1869, you know, Dave and the Cave is part of our group to kind of what brings us to uh, these fun shows. You know, we're shooting for every two weeks. Um, and we'll talk about that as we go on. So we've got a lot of good things planned. It's kind so. of like the Big Ten. Though. It's what they got, 15 teams now? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Three men in the basement. It was really five. It was five. Was really, <laughs> that's okay now. All right. So, Justin, you are giving away something right now, too, right? Yeah, so my our fourth place prize is this 9.8 uh, Justice League number one Jim Lee oh, variant God. cover, uh, black and white. And included, I will also be sending you a lot of variant covers that are between cover Bs, some low number incentives, up to 1 in 25 ratio variants. So you're going to get a nice big package full of nothing but variant covers from myself, as well as this 9.8 packages. Uh, <laughs> yes, we love the big packages. So and this 9.8 Justice League number one. So uh, let's David see. David came salivating over this book. Does he own that book? No, I don't know, but it, it's definitely like he said. It is a sick book. It's got it's Jim Lee and Batman on yeah. the cover. How can you yeah. go wrong, right? right exactly. So uh, let's put this back onto full screen. And we're going to pick our fourth place winner. And let's see who that's going to be. Johnny Dakota. Right, Johnny Dakota. Johnny Dakota says, I love the spec talk along with Lords of the Long Box. Like to see from the start to finish a CGC submission, clean press grade. Keep it up the good work. Yes, Johnny Dakota, that is something that we are working on for 2020. Uh, I will say that I did send some books to Rocket Comics. So uh, we're definitely going to be showing you the before and then what the aftermath is for a uh, cracking and yeah, cracking yeah. and pressing. I mean, unfortunately, we don't clean the books ourselves. Maybe something right. that we can do in 2020 when we get together with Rocket Comics. So yeah, you may see uh, that as a video in 2020. Right. And we'll have information about Rocket Comics just as we talk about this. Uh, Emerald City, C2E2. Um, as they give us the information, we'll give that information to you. But all of Rocket Comics information can be found in any of our recent videos, uh, as far as Justin's videos, as far as Mutant Mondays, in this video, any way you want to contact Rocket Comics. If you need to contact me and I can help facilitate the conversation with Rocket Comics, really cool thing that my friends from Castle Blanket Comics all the way up in Maine contacted our friends at Rocket. Yeah. Exactly. So you've got the main California connection all the way across country. So that's been really fun. So um, mm -hmm. now I've got four books from Baltimore <laughs> Comic Con that we're going to unbox. All right. all right. These aren't big books, but you'll see the theme. These are George Perez books. Uh, these are books that I did have uh, clean and pressed and I submitted at Baltimore. So that's how long ago it was. Uh, these books... I really don't know. As Roger opens them up, I'll tell you. I mean, I'm hoping all of them are eight five or better. Uh, these are George Perez books. I was hoarding all these George Perez books for Terrificon last year, and then um, then he canceled because he got sick. But you know what? I'm a fan of George Perez, and I'm a fan of these books. He's so got a tough of it. What's that? He's got a tough of it. <laughs> He's got a tough George for a guy. He's got a stroke. What do you want? You know? Yeah. Well, pops, what do you? Four karate chops. I don't know about nine eights, but. I mean, if these come back nines, I'm pretty happy, man. So Pops is saying, I'm in a great mood, Pops. This is a great time, man. It's Friday night. Justin and I, Roger, we plan this stuff for the 1869. We go, we talk about this, and we just want to share all these good times with you because, you know what, it's been really fun to do all this. And I know Justin has some books. Um, yeah, we don't want to bring back the 8-5 trauma of Bayou Boy Entertainment. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I got nothing. All right. So. Um, and I'll tell you, as Roger takes out the books, I'll tell you a little bit about it. All right, so Devil Dinosaur 1. Oh, okay, good book. Ooh. Good book right there. So Devil Dinosaur number one, I believe I bought this from JNS Collectibles, our friends. Uh, again, I'm hoping for an 8.5. Why I bought this book is because, one, it's a Kirby book. It is a good spec book. Um, I don't own a copy of it. And, you know, Devil Dinosaur, at some point, if it makes it into the animation, I think could explode like Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse because... Kids love dinosaurs, right? I mean, look at Jurassic Park. So, Raj, I'm hoping eight five or better. Did I get that? What am I going for? Hey, I, you know, I don't get the process. Nine four. Nine four. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. baby. Nine four. Wasn't I'm expecting going. that at nice all. Job. Good job. Nine four. <laughs> ages. Devil dinosaur. Moon boy. Hot damn. All right. Now. Um, don't know what GPA is on this, but I paid definitely paid under for it. 
So nice. happy that I had it. Uh, got it. This is a great book. Kirby, Big Red Dinosaur on the cover. So uh, 1978. All right. Thank you very much. You, yeah, yeah. You're a good wig man. You know yeah, whatever. You're a good wig man when it comes to this. I want an 8.5 to get to 9.4. <laughs> <laughs> I want a 9.4, I get an 8.5. All right. All right. All right. There we go. 9.4. All right. Four. So next is Astonishing Tales 25. Yes. Okay. Uh, Astonishing Tales 25, First Appearance of Deathlock. What you might or might not know about this book is that this is a Rich Buck Buckler book. Rich Buckler passed away from cancer. Uh, rest in peace, Rich. But George Perez, this is George Perez's first work at Marvel. Um, George Perez does not get credit in the book for his work. I'm curious to see if it is on the CGC label itself and see what it says. But uh, what I'm saying is factually correct. This is the first time George Perez did work under, he was uh, Rich Buckler's understudy, Raj. Eight five nine two. I gotta uh, say, it does say first George Perez work on the last two pages. Yes. Okay. Says perfect. It on the label. Perfect. And I love it for a lot. Uh, eight five nine two. Nine like two. It? Nine two. There we go. I love nine twos. Yeah. Yes. Nine two, there we man. go. Great cover. Deathlock's a character that I think could translate um, into like a show like Agents of Shield or something like that. But um, great, great book. Now, because I'm linear. And we all know that I love linear, right? <laughs> my first Taskmaster is in there. If my first Taskmaster comes back at night too, oh, it's a good day here in the Grotto. <laughs> it is a good, good day in the Grotto. Yeah, I'm sure it will all be. right, so I got two more books left. All right, so Excalibur Special Edition. Yes, all right. So this Excalibur book is a spec book that we've been talking about um, on Lords of the Logbox 2. This one doesn't have – Justin, what's the story with it? It doesn't have the UPC code, so that's the rare of it or something like that? Uh, well, the, the – the Excalibur, not the number one, but the one, right. prestige format is the first yeah. appearance of Excalibur right. before the, the ongoing series. Yes, before the ongoing series. So this is it. I don't know about this book. Um, this is a book that I picked up, you know, digging in long boxes. I thought it was in good shape. I'll be surprised if it's an 8.5. Um, but again, I like what they're going to do with Excalibur. I like that it might go, um, you know, into the MCU or whatever. So... Raj, I'm hoping for an 8.5. What am I getting out of this? A 9.4! Nine nine four. Four. Jesus! A 9.4. I swear to God. Oh, my God. I'm going to light up CGC yeah. one day, and you're all going to read about me. Look at that. Alan <laughs> Davis, 9.4. I'll tell you. Oh, Excalibur Special Edition. Uh, and, and look at that. It's got the back, which I didn't even realize that. That's nice. That's nice. I didn't see that coming. Excalibur is just really cool book, so... Yeah, all right. I'm pretty happy yeah. with the way yeah, this is I, going. Yeah, good stuff. Way to go, Wigman. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. The last one, probably the most. The, I should say the most. Avengers 196. We all know this. Taskmaster's on the cover. Uh, you know, we all know the Taskmaster, Deathstroke, uh, Deadpool kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I believe I bought this from Barry Gary a while ago. Um, I did own this book years ago when I was a kid. I had it once. You did? <laughs> Is this I your donated, book? No, I donated. Oh, that's right. Our first comic swap. Yeah, you donated. What, what Just was? before they announced that he was going to be in a movie. Yeah, right. Jesus. Your guy who played with, what's his name? Plays the harmonica. Um, Andrew. Andrew. Andrew yeah. Yeah. yeah, Drew Blood. All right. So uh, it was raw. It was raw. It was raw. Okay. All right. So I'm hoping that this is a 9 2 just to keep it linear. But again, 8 5 or better. Uh, this has been a good four book run. So, am I linear? A5. A5. All right. Yeah, that's all right. right. It's okay. Okay. So, so sorry. So, for that's all right. And, you know, <laughs> I knew one of them would come back a little lower, but Taskmaster, George Perez, first appearance. Uh, you know, good book. Yeah. And, that's a good book. and I wonder where the 8.5 came from. But, you know what? At this point, I don't care. It's Read all right. Notes, so. yeah, well, yeah, that's it. So, it's a great um, cover. That is, a, yeah. that is an amazing yeah. cover. Classic, classic. Oh, Kiki Swag Shop. What's up, my boy? Shout out to our good friends at Kiki Swag Shop. So those were my four books that I got from CGC. And uh, nice. pretty ecstatic with all those yeah, grades. Those grades I'll are be, phenomenal, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah, right? yeah. No, really. They're pretty really ecstatic. So, huh? just, to, just to review, uh, Devil Dinosaur, 9.4. Mm. And you said uh, you'd be happy with an 8. 8.5, yeah. Mm. Uh, Deathlock, 9.2. Yeah. Happy with an eight, he said. Yeah, I was telling you, I saw it. Excalibur, nine four. Pretty excited Swear for that. Swear to God, you said it was not going to be higher than an eight five. <laughs> yeah. 
And then Avengers, 8-5 also. All white pages. Oh, you want a night too? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, you want a night too? All white pages. So, yeah. <laughs> so, those were my four books from CGC. Good haul, Very man. excited Good haul. to get those You books. submitted those at Baltimore. I did. Yes, I did. Okay. I did submit those at Baltimore. I do have more books at Baltimore uh, that I'm waiting really? to get those books. Yeah, I've got like. Signatures? No, all blue labels, but older. Like, uh, uh, what's the next? What's that tier, Justin? What are they under value tier? Economy or value? Yeah, economy or value. It's like I've got like first juggernaut. I don't even know because I don't like to look because I'm afraid that I'll look at the grades. Yeah. So I knew these shipped, <laughs> and uh, I was checking my app to find out when they would get here. Shout out to my mailman, Tito, Tito. Uh, for delivering them on point and stuff like that. So, all right. So we did watching. that. We did my <laughs> unboxing. Mm -hmm. um, Time for Justin to unbox. Yes. Well, we can actually talk about where I was today for a little yes. bit. This is a little precursor. So yeah. uh, if you guys you know, saw my Instagram post, I was in the big city today. I had a, a big time three men in a basement exclusive uh, <laughs> exclusive that I got to do. I was over at Metropolis Comics in New York, so I was able to get an interview with one of the co uh, one of the coworkers that or one of the workers there who was actually a friend of mine that I've known for the past couple of years. So yeah. I was actually I went there. I got to go through the whole J Scott Ca um, J Scott Campbell Gallery, which yeah. you're going to see a video for that sometime next week. And the interview that with my friend Jeff Mazza, who is one of the sales associates there, that is going to be up sometime early next week as well. You're going to see my walkthrough of Metropolis Comics. You're going to see original art, covers, pages, things that you've never seen before. Right. And just, I was blown away. Justin, uh, tell us what Metropolis Comics is. Uh, it, Metropolis Comics is an online retailer as well as an auction house. So metropoliscomics.com is their website. Uh, you can pr pretty much find whatever you're looking for directly on there or even yep. on Comic Connect is their sister site, which is where they have auctions. They main, they do set up at shows, New York Comic Con, you know, San Diego, a lot of the East Coast stuff as well as throughout the country. So definitely check for that video coming next week, guys. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, there was just, I got to walk through the stock room. I mean, I was in awe of all the CGC stuff. You're going to see some big, big time grails on that video, man. It is, it is some friggin' awesome I mean, stuff. You were showing me stuff that I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I got the whole two big, big Batman books. So. Yeah, original art. And they are, they're not a brick and mortar store. They're an online store, but this is like their office. And, yes. um, uh, like Can I, anybody visit? No, right? No, so, no. I mean, the only thing they're allowed, you're allowed to go and go to the art gallery that is during the uh, right now. So J. Scott Campbell opened up an art gallery through them. It opened up at New York Comic Con this past year and it closes actually in January. I think it's sometime in the 6th or 10th. Uh, it's open to the public Monday through Friday. So you can just, you know, walk through the gallery, just see all his colors, all of his um, some pages, some preliminary stuff that you can actually buy. And you'll see that in my video next week. But if you can't really just you cannot walk in there just to walk around you know luckily I, I was able you know through my contact i was able to get in there and walk around and do some nice videos so definitely check that out next week once we once i go ahead and uh, edit it and post it yeah no that's big that was awesome he was you were showing me the pictures and i was just eyeing over i was like oh lord this is some pretty amazing stuff so yeah so nice yep. nice, nice. Uh, so uh i have my cgc stuff so let's okay. get right into it i have my stuff from uh from uh, Baltimore Comic Con. So we're going to cut this bad boy open and uh, we're going to see what we have. I have 12 signature series. I think I have uh, two sketches, maybe three sketches, and uh, nothing but signatures because that's all I love to unbox. So, all right. Keep thinking of the gingerbread man from Shrek. Yeah, right. <laughs> Time I look at Justin. Uh, I can't even do the voice. I can't even think about it. <laughs> All right. So first up, I'll try to do this without even looking at these. Books. I know. I know. You don't have a wingman like me. Yeah, I know. So I guess we're going to have to do it this way. Oh, All right. Ooh, here we wait go. A wait a minute. This is like you have multiple copies of this. Oh, Christ I have a 9-6 signed by... Uh, by Adam Hughes, which this is I'm hoping for a 9-8 so I can sell that 9-6. Why people so. hate you? Right, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait a minute, so, I'm going to be submitting this though. So this is uh, I, this is there's a lot of Adam Hughes stuff in this. So this is a Catwoman 51. Uh, this is the infamous, uh, very you know, this is not even a variant. This was the regular cover. Yeah. Lost numbers. 
Uh, and I think we are looking at a, 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 a nine six again. Did he just get disappointed in a nine six? <laughs> signed by J. Scott Campbell. No, signed by Adam Hughes. I mean, Adam yeah, Hughes. Hughes yeah. Adam Hughes signed nine oh, six. Nine six. Disappointed. I'll tell you what. You just give me that when we come down there in February. Yeah, right. We'll call right, it hey, it'll be it's it may be available since I do have a nine six already. So you have a nine six yellow label? Is that I yes, mean, yeah. Uh, I have another nine six yellow right. label. I was hoping for well, the nine eight eludes Justin. Oh, no, yeah, I know. So maybe I'll sell both of them and then I'll upgrade to the nine eight. Yeah, yeah. I really feel bad. That's a great <laughs> book though. But that's you know, story behind that low print run book or just yeah, I mean middle I, of the run, that's yeah. really when he started doing the covers. So um that's a great cover though. No chop, karate chop. No, no chop. chop. All right. Uh, another Adam Hughes book. This is Zatanna number 11. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. awesome. This I do not have this uh, signed or graded. So this may be going next to the Zatanna statue that if you guys saw it on Instagram, I posted yeah. for First Appearance Friday. Yeah. And we are looking. Ugh, I don't know. I'm scared. I really don't know what this is going to be. Let's go. Break it out. Oh, oh, my oh my god oh that is oh my god family show that is awesome there we go that's got to go into display oh that is going right Did next buy to that raw? this is this was bought raw i bought the entire collection years ago from my local comic shop and uh before these books were even what they were i just wanted to read the series and i i bought it and out of all the covers that I had that Adam Hughes did for all these, uh, this was the best looking one. <laughs> and I really didn't, I really didn't think it was coming back in nine, eight, but that's amazing. Nice. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. So, you know, can't have all nine eights, but you know, that's when I'm really excited to have a nine, eight, whatever, with whatever. He says. Can't have all nine eights. So Seriously. <laughs> He's bummed. I mean, if you are, if you're Dave in the nine, cave. Nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, six. Oh. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're Dave in the cave, then maybe. All right. Next up, I'm going to hide these. Pull it around. Oh, oh. oh, look at that. A Wonder Woman number 184. Another. Cool. On a cover. Now, this book is hard because it's it's like got that rustic look to it yes and it kind of looks and there's a lot where people think it looks bad but you really don't know until you actually right, see it's all it so. part of it yeah they yeah, I make mean, it look that way right, right. there you so go it, it is a nine and we're gonna look at it also on adam hughes adam hughes signed by adam hughes in a nine point oh six. Ooh, nine point six poor guy ah uh, very good book, though. This is a nice, nice book. And I'll tell you, Otto was almost going to buy this book at it was. Uh, Baltimore. And I, I talked him out of it because I said it was way overpriced. Yeah, 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 yeah. He definitely talked about it. So good and then he out bought it? No, no, he didn't buy oh. it. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I just had it. buying it and then bought it behind you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You get caught in a fever, though. You're at the cons. You're like, oh, my God, Hughes is here. Yeah. You see the line. You want to get the book. And you see it. You're like, all right. You know, and it's a good thing. You know, it just brings you somebody back down to reality. Just yeah, like, I know that's sure. that's way overpriced. You know, I'm going to pay you. Yeah, I, I told him. I said this yeah. is not a book to buy here. Uh, yeah, you know, right? Definitely, definitely not to buy. So, uh, next up, try not to look, since I don't have my boy Dave in the cave to help me out with this. Yeah. Uh, next up is ooh, this is a nice book. This is Avengers mm -hmm. No Road Home. This was the one in fifty variant. This is a cover swipe of oh, God. This is a great book. Uh, Spawn number one. This is awesome. I love I love this of uh, Scarlet Witch. So yeah, this is a nine point. Uh, nope, wrong time. Hey, another hand. Nine eight. There we go. Nine point eight. Big Lion Cat, Pop Foster, call that right there. Wow. And I got this. This I got at a shop in Washington, D.C. when I was there for work. Uh, this was like six months after this came out. Couldn't believe they still had it. Uh, I made a deal with them and, uh, you know, Longbox? had it. What's, what's the story about Longbox? How'd you find it? No, it was up on their wall at a, at a comic shop in, in Washington, D.C. when I went down there from a job. And um, just I saw it. I made a deal with them. I said, you know, they're not really selling for what the price you have listed. So yeah. we made a deal and uh, had it signed. And now it's uh, a 9.8. All right, there we go. It's good to be Justin. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 
So we've got lots of monitors, lots of Adam Hughes stuff, real cool stuff. You know, I when I met Adam, he signed that Christmas card, which then it comes to fruition like I wanted it to, but I do have it. Uh, nice guy, real neat stuff. Um, you know, took the time out. Real good guy to meet, man. I'm very happy that I met him, you know. All right, next up is, oh, this is a big boy book, guys. This is a big boy book. Let me uh, throw this back onto me. So this is Captain Marvel number one. Oh, yeah. Adam Hughes cover. This book, I have been waiting four years. Yes, I've been waiting four years to get this signed and slapped. (laughs) Four years. Patience, right? Four (laughs) years. Since the book came out in 2016, so three years, actually. Three years. I've been Well, three and a half, to be honest. I've been waiting, and we are looking at a uh, 9.6. God damn it. Very, very nice, though. Still a really awesome book, guys. Ratio on that, Justin? I'm sorry. This is a 1 in 50. Okay. A 1 in 50 variant when this came out. But, you know, they actually redid this cover this year when they relaunched Captain Marvel. They did it in a... um, some store had an online exclusive was like a virgin variant, which I didn't really like because it kind of threw this variant to like the wind. But right. I still think this is a, a really hot uh, book. Uh, NYX cover, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good looking book right there, though, man. That's great. Yeah. So at least we're sticking with nine eights and nine sixes. So. Yeah. 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 All right. Next up, come to the see. coast. We'll get I don't the know camp. if it's more. I don't know if it's uh, another Adam Hughes or what, but. Oh, here's here it is. Our, now for all these, uh, you know, because everybody complains that there's too much modern stuff going right, on, right, on, right. on here. So here is a Nova number one yep. signed oh. by Marv Wolfman. Oh, nice. So I already have at least, you know, I got about 10 of these. I'm hoarding these. But this is the, I think, second one that I have signed by Marv. But this is the first time that I actually went to a show and had Marv sign it. So right, actually, I had Marv sign this. Oh, that's right. You had I Marv sign it. I was the one that stood in line for you on this. So yeah. now this may be touched by another hand. Right. And may have dropped it. What, what do you think it is, Justin? Hold on, though. Let's talk about it. I mean, you bought it raw. I bought it raw. Um, didn't they, press it. Didn't. I bought it. It looked so nice that I really just wanted to get it signed and slabbed. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. Right. So, we have a. I'm thinking 9 4. Oh, all right. You, I, I have tons of 9 4s. I'd like a 9 6 or a 9 8. All right, Roger. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, a nine two. Oh, well, I like that uh, grade. I'm a nine two guy. I like that grade. Hey, listen, it's still it's still oh, in the nines, nice. and it's signed by Marv Wolfman. Yeah, that's still nice. really awesome. Great, great. So book. that's uh, I do have another copy of that in here. I don't know the grade because that's how we're rolling tonight. Now, Justin, yes, that Nova book is a book that we've been talking about that people are banking on. That people are hoping that it's going to pop and stuff like that, and this is definitely your comic book investing part yes. of your collecting coming out, right? Yeah, uh, I think I'm up to a baker's dozen okay. on um, on Nova number ones. Yeah. So you know that once once yeah, that news comes, one short. <laughs> oh, that's right. Someone wanted to yeah, buy one. I just, want, I just want mine back. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to be honest with you. <laughs> well, maybe in February you'll see them at the swap. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so let's go. Hopefully, the next book is another is the other Nova, like the way they should pack the books. But I've seen them pack some crazy different ways. So, uh, a Nova number one, guys. So Nova number one for the first one was a nine two. This one is a nine six. All right, a nine oh, six. Good. All right, that makes up for my nine two because I do not do not have a nine point six, and this one is signed. That is sweet. That now you don't is. have a nine six blue label either. I don't have a nine six blue label at all. Really? So this is my first nine six Nova. All right. So we're getting closer to the nine eight number. But yeah, signed by Marv Wolfman. Really excited to have this nineteen seventy six book. Yeah, that's really nice. That's good. Great sig right there too, Marv. Nice guy to talk to. Wish could talk to him more. Oh, Marv. You know, he's you know he's a pretty funny guy. He's definitely seen better days, but he's. An interesting guy. He does what he has to do. He makes your small talk, you know, yeah, like definitely. so. Good, good guy. You know. and he appreciates the people who those little things. You know, like he was excited yeah. to sign my 
Deathstroke mask. Right. I had made from scratch. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well we, you guys don't know, but we all dressed up as a Teen Titans. We did a little cosplay back at Terrific Con. And I have the picture of all of us. And he is generally smiling yeah, in this picture. Like, yeah, you know, you've got five yeah, or six yeah, kids. Yeah, the, yeah, right. Exactly. He had five or six, maybe more of that, kids dressed yeah. up. Everett was uh, um, Cyborg. Cyborg. And I was Deathstroke. Yeah. And I, Deathstroke mask that I made. And I yeah. took it off. I said, Will you sign this? Yeah. And then That's this awesome. year, I was supposed to have Perez sign the mask. Someone talked me out of going to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. East Coast, East Coast Comic Con, and then uh, that's the last place he's. Uh, yeah, that was the last so. time he did that. That's it. That's uh, it. Thank ever for that. Thank yeah, really. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Want to give a shout out to Thomas Caps in the live chat with us. We got Scott hanging out. Pops Foster's always running with us. So a lot of guys. I mean, I've got like forty-eight, almost fifty people um, hanging with us tonight, having a great. Is that time, your last so. book, Justin? No, no. I still got four more left. From yeah, I think what I can feel. Yeah, one, two. Let's hook them up. Oh, we. Oh, I got five. I don't know, five more left. Uh, yeah, we'll do five one more. more. Let's do one more book, and then we'll do uh, second and th third and second place. Okay, right. okay, you got cool. it. I like that. I like that. So, uh, first up, ooh, this is. I don't know what this is. This when I think this it guy is. Rubs himself in slabs. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this book, this is a big time book too. Slab it. Slab. Oh no. This was the Ghost Spider Spider Gwen number one, the Ji Hung Lee ooh, one wow. in one hundred variant. That was very low printed because nobody was ordering 100 books, 100 copies of this book. I had it in a 9.6. I had CGC crack it yep. uh, at Baltimore. I had the artist sign it. And there's also a remark on this. Ooh. So we are hoping for it to come back a 9.6, at yep. least a 9.6. Right. You'll be flushed. I'll take a 9.4. Uh, that 4 is killing a 9.8. Oh uh, no, I don't Nat Forge. If this comes back a, a nine point eight, I might have to definitely send you uh, uh send you a gift for just for calling that out for me. Yeah. So this is the beautiful cover, and you can see the remark there. Now was the remark extra? Do you remember? I don't remember. Yeah, I think I paid him like fifty bucks. Okay. I think yeah. it was fifty bucks for that. So that was the remark right there with the, the signature. All right, so, so this, we got a lot of nine eight nine sixes in the chats, Justin. Well, I'm I'm gonna give something to Matt Forge if this comes back a nine. If this comes back a nine point eight. Matt Forge yeah. is definitely gonna have uh, to get a gift from me. Five, I win. Let's see. We are at. Oh, I'm so scared to move my hand. Right, move the right one though. Don't make us screw it up. All, All right. right. Okay, it stayed my nine six. Okay. All right. I'm happy. I'm I'm absolutely happy with that. Yep. And that is a chance you take. But listen. It's got the sig. It's got the remark. I mean, I think you've upgraded it. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm sure you Absolutely. agree with that too. Oh, sure. Yeah. Signature and a remark. Uh, that definitely does a lot. So. It's a great That's book. Great. Yeah. But that'll go up with my, uh, my spider Gwen stuff going on in front of my computer that you guys can't see. But uh, yeah, I mean, I got, I got a couple more books, but we can definitely do some giveaways for everyone hanging out with us. I forgot about something. I have another gift for you, dude. For me? Yes. Oh, my God. No, yeah, I, do. I, really right do. I really do. I really do. I really do. So um, I was in Maine, uh, in the great state of Maine, and I was at this comic shop. I can't think of the name, but I lately, my collection, I've been buying, like, obscure things. Like, I've been enjoying buying, like, the Fooms, um, like, just stuff that was out and then gets, might get tossed and stuff like that. And I know uh, through our experiences together that – Bill Tucci has been a great, um, not a friend, but a great artist that you've met through yeah, the years. Love right? that guy. You love Absolutely him, right? Love him, yes. He's a great guy. Why don't you talk about a little Clark. bit about his remark? For yeah, him? I mean, he he did a remark for me on a uh, uh, Harlequin book that actually was a terrific con exclusive a couple of years ago. I brought it back, had him do a remark. I was there for over an hour, and I wasn't just waiting in line. Like him and I had conversations about. Our kids playing sports, yep. and he would draw a little, and he would bullshit with the people, and we had I'm just a legitimate great conversation right. over you know a 45 minute to an hour time lapse where I was he's like I'm oh, sorry I'm like no I'm I'm good I'm having a good time right, right. I'm enjoying this and telling the stories of of you know the new book they're coming out that like shy just came out with another another uh issue they they do all that through gofundme and and you know it was, it well, was what a he does for younger artists so yeah, bill tucci does a lot yeah, for, he does for younger new artists. artists and artists he helps, that are coming up. he helps if he finds a younger artist that he feels has potential he does these gofundmes to help them 
fund a comic book. Yeah. Yeah, it might only be a thousand issues, right. but at least they're getting out there. So when I was at this shop, I saw this and I picked it up. And I, I don't know what it is, but I want you to have this. This is a 1997 oh. Shy... Bill Tucci calendar. Are you kidding me right now? So this has got 12 prints of Bill that maybe you could actually oh, have him sign all of them. Are you kidding me? I absolutely will. Do something with them. From 1997, I mean, this we're talking phenomenal. 12 years old. I haven't even looked at it, but I just I, I just grabbed it from the guy. So I figured uh-huh. you, of all people, could take that. This is phenomenal. Thank you, you know so what I mean? much, It's got man. all the prints. There I you go. I appreciate that. So if you just want to show everybody the back, all his different prints and stuff like that. So... You know, whether Roger takes his, has him sign it all, maybe takes yeah. him and puts him in frames, stuff like that. But just this is why that our, is great. our collections have become so different and so broad because now you can almost do anything with this stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Right. And I don't know too much well, about Shy. bring but this to him and have him do a remark on it? I know. Almost he anything. He will gladly right. do that. Are you yeah. kidding me? Exactly. This so, is the type of thing that he'll go crazy yeah. for. That's the kind of guy he is. Yeah. So 1997. So somebody might have got rid of that. The fact that things have been hanging around for 12 years. That is awesome. The calendar. Thank so you Merry Christmas. Much. There you go. All Ooh, right. Great Christmas. So, um, so we're going to give away third and second place right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. So third place of our giveaway was donated by um, the Geeky Swag Shop, and it is this diamonds. Uh, this. Diamond Gallery, Drowned figure right here. Batman and Drowned. How I figure out how I get the box and ship this to you guys, I don't know at this point. <laughs> we'll get it. But I'll get it to you. So from the uh, the Metal series, yeah. Batman the Drowned. Yeah. That's the um, figure. Earth 11, the Multiverse, a.k.a. So just real cool, sculpted by Caesar, uh, designed by Caesar, sculpted by Alteron, Diamond Select. Um, again, donated by our good friends at the Geeky Swag Shop. Check them out. Um, just a great guy to hang around with and stuff like that. So, all right. So, Justin, you want to run this? Yep. We're going to run it. Put a full screen. Again, cannot win again. So, if Johnny Dakota wins, he cannot. So, picking another winner. Starting now. And let's see what we got. And the winner is... JJ Unique. JJ, another new person. All right. So JJ Unique, please find me on Instagram, Everett underscore Otto. DM me your information, and I will get this out to you, hopefully in a timely fashion. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you, JJ Unique. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Good stuff, guys. Okay. Now, second place is... We got awesome. some big boy prizes, people. Big yeah, boy prizes. All right. So... Uh, if you guys follow us, you know that just Second recently. Place. No, we're not giving oh, up on the line. I, I know we're giving this, this away. is one of my favorite books. <laughs> you guys know how much I love Marvel 2 and 1 right here. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I had this as a kid. I just won this in a raffle for my boy, Ex Illusionary. Uh, Marvel 2 and 1, great book. This was actually the last book in the series. Roger keeps breaking my chops about this, but we're not giving this away. <laughs> all right. But what we are giving away. Is a book that was donated by the Reese brothers, uh, Austin uh, Reese and his crew. Uh, we did have the Reese brothers on on Three Men in the Basement, and Austin was great. Brought us some big books. Talked a little bit about what he's doing and um, his business, and they're just great guys to deal with. They've got a big presence at lots of shows. I believe they're going to be in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are actually they've signed up for Terrificon this year, which is great. Can't wait to see them at Stand Terrific doesn't work on raw books. I know the stand doesn't work on raw books. Okay. But anyway, so he sent this book to me. Now I didn't say, hey man, you know, do you have anything you donate to us? I didn't say it at all. I, he was so appreciative to come on the show and talk about his business that he just sent this to me. And it was a Saturday afternoon, my jaw dropped to the ground. Not only is it a J. Scott Campbell for New Year Vows um cover, which is fantastic. J. Scott Campbell Beautiful signed cover. it in red. Stan Lee has signed it. And then there was another signature, and I said, my God, whose signature is this? It's Stan Lee's wife, Joan Lee. That's how So uh, it's not a one-of-one one because oh, there are other ones out there. Uh, it is raw. The Stan signature is tight on this. And whoever wins this, congratulations. Uh, and thanks to the Reese brothers for winning this book. So this <laughs> is our second, second, second place. place winner. So, Justin, without further ado. All ooh. right, guys. Pick another winner. Second place. Who's it going to be? We've got 90 people that possibly could win this. Yeah. Like 87. But 
Oh, amazing, amazing Asian. Asian. All right. Yes, yes. Amazing Asian says, love the show. Would love to see more reviews of books read. That's definitely something we can look into for 2020 uh, for reviews, guys. Definitely for yeah. some modern, some Silver Age stuff, whatever you guys are looking for. Yeah, so uh, Amazing Asian, hit me up. I, I'm pretty sure you're on. I'm sure, pretty sure we communicate on Instagram. Um, so, yeah, so great book. Unbelievable. Variant. Triple signs. So that's second place. Congrats. Congrats. All right. It's a beautiful book. Let's get back to the CGC. Just <laughs> got more CGC. But wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> Final CGC for 2019, guys. I am absolutely loving it. So uh let's see what's next. I think I'm done with I'm done with all the Hughes stuff. I'm done with the um Marv Wolfman stuff. So I think I have actually no, I think I have one more Adam Hughes. This is a Batman 75 sketch cover. Ooh, this is cool. <laughs> this, is, well, yeah. this is a sketch done by Adam Hughes. Wow. Oh, this is... That's who awesome. inked it, though, Justin? And then uh, Barry Gary's boy, Ryan Brown, yeah. who, he, if you don't know, he worked on uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He actually was the one who colored this in for me. Right. So, hold on, though, but you got to tell a little bit about the story. So, you bring it to Adam Hughes... You mm -hmm. ask him to do the sketch, right? Yes. Now, typically, Adam Hughes's wife will do the ink. Allison. Yes, Allison usually does the coloring. Color, but your outside thinking, which I think is great, is to get another artist, yeah, right, to it do makes it more unique. But absolutely, it makes it a little bit more unique, a little bit more original. So this was absolutely brilliant. Again, this is why I hang out with people that are smarter than me. So you learn all these tricks. So you not take it. You did not <laughs> tough to do. Really, it's not. So you take it to Barry Gary's boy, and what does he say? He he said, "Get the hell out of here." <laughs> he pretty much did not want to be touching an Adam Hughes sketch. Yeah, really. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Come on." Um, so, yeah, I mean that's what it is. I mean, yeah. it's it, unfortunately he's he's a great guy, guy. If you ever go to any of the conventions, look look for Ryan Brown, B R O W N E. And, uh, you know, he's, he's really nice to talk to follow him on Instagram. It's uh, zombie pets. Um, uh, some, I can't think of the rest of it, but, yeah, uh, pets. he's also on very Gary's channel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When he does live shows, but, uh, so again, we, uh, you know, I'm not, if I get a nine, eight, that's what, you know, that's oh, what I was yeah, like. Wait a, minute, Justin, I thought he, wait a minute. I thought he told you, forget it. Get out of here. No, no, he did it. Right. right no, he, he did, did it. it. Right. All right. But, uh, so we are looking at a nine, eight. Nine, eight. Nine, eight. Oh, nine, oh six. nine six, nine six. Okay. Adam Adam Hughes sketch, colored. There it is. Dave in the caves got it. Uh, right there. Yeah. 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 Zombie pets of GRB. Is, dude, that is absolutely oh. sick. That is sick. So really cool. Yeah, zombie pets. Zombie pets. All right, so next up, it's either going to be another sketch or... Yeah, right, right. When did you get to these books? Uh, a week ago. A week ago, right. So you yeah, guys yeah. know that in Three Men in the Basement, we hold on to these books. Like, I was very fortunate it's that these the books came to the only thing I have enough willpower to withstand. <laughs> <laughs> Every rest of my life, I give in. You give in to, right? <laughs> because right. I know the razzing and the just humiliation right. I will go through with you people. Right, you people. You people. You people. If I want to look ahead of time. So, all right. So, uh, we got three more books, guys. So, for the guys playing in the background, Pops, Big Lion, Cat, and Scott, we're, uh, we got three more books. So, let's see who's going to win at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, next up, this is a Detective Comics number 1000. Ooh. This is a uh, Frankie's Comics exclusive, the G. Hung Lee Virgin variant. Oh, I have. So, this is. Oh, that's a great book. Of that Harley is, Quinn. That is a great cover. Awesome. And if I take off, no, I can take, can I take my left hand off? I can take my left hand off. So there you go. Real quick. Look at that. Pretty freaking close, right? Pretty close. Pretty so, linear. I'm thinking linear. Uh, so you want linear. I want, I want the pinnacle of a nine, nine or a 10 on this book. Oh, because oh. It is. It is the book bound book. Oh, so, oh, you just got the book. 
Oh, here we go. 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 Oh, nine, oh, nine, nine. Nine. oh. He's disappointed <laughs> with the nine eight. <laughs> you know? Does anybody else understand what's going on right, right now? Okay. <laughs> the fact that he's so goddamn spoiled. <laughs> he has this book that was handled by multiple people, including the person who signed it. And you get an I and eight, and you want to. That was his reaction, Justin. That's great. That's great. I think he's happy. I no, think- I'm definitely happy. I'm def. I mean, like when I looked at this book, I knew it was coming back in nine eight. It was the best of the three variants that I had between yeah. the trade dress, this, and the black and white. So, yeah, I'm 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 definitely happy with, with this as a nine eight. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Wolf Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey. But uh, no, definitely this stand. This next to the uh, the Spider Gwen is 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 freaking awesome. No, Audie, Audie, I agree with you. It is. Those are good books, you know. And I mean, I'm just not that. That's why it's so it's so awesome because we're all different types of collectors and different yes. things that we collect and how how you know. When I always say this, when I was a kid, when I was 11, 12, 13 years old, going to comic shops, I bought everything. I bought everything. But now it's evolved so much, you know what I mean. And now what do you I'm like? hunting down what are you pops. Like in? Yeah. I've actively called stores looking for these fantastic four pops because I want to put them next to my uh, what you want come to my figures. I went after Mole Man. I went after Galactus, Silver Surfer, and I went after uh, Doctor Doom because they, they just complement the book so Justin, hard. Justin, we need to have an intervention. With no, I'm buying pops. I'm sorry, I'm buying pops. So yeah, so, the intervention time. I, I I can't imagine what it is to get a nine nine or a ten. I mean, I, I don't. I again, I don't know who's. I got to uh, to to get a nine nine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So two more books, guys. Uh, let's see. Right. Let's see what we have. I don't even know. I I think one of the books is a Clayton Crane, to be honest. Really? So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think Clayton it's the Crane's only nice guy to meet. When I signed that Christmas card, he's like, "My God, I'm signing this like it's a real Christmas card." You know. <laughs> All right, so this is a Spider Gwen number one, a sketch blank cover. This was sketched by Ji Hung Lee at the at Baltimore Comic Con. So that's oh, the sketch. It's unbelievable. Wow, that's great. It's unbelievable. Really cool cover of uh, Gwen Stacy. Can't go wrong, yeah, right? Always come back nine eight. Well, I mean, we're hoping for a nine eight. They always come back nine eight. I mean, we're lo- we're looking for some people in the uh, the audience to give me a nine six and nine eight. I don't know what it's going to be, but I mean, it, it's really awesome. So, um, we're going to look at uh, nine point eight. All right, Ooh, there we go. Blank, blank books where you have sketches always come back at nine eight. I just yeah. had one come back at nine six. Where were you? Uh, I was I was in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 so a 9.8 uh sketch by G Hung Lee. That's to awesome. Go, to go with my uh it's going off. I love that. Yeah. Really cool, really cool. Really happy with this. So All right. I got one more book. One more. Last book of 2019's unbox live unboxings on Three Men Ten. in the Basement. Ten. Oh, I wish. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> it is the uh the book that I was going to have Clayton Crane sign at uh, New York Comic Con, but I didn't. It is another Ghost Spider number one, the Clayton Crane Virgin variant. Uh, if I do remember, I did have him sign this in the rainbow. So that's the cover. Look at that. Oh, How awesome is that rainbow stuff going that on? That is awesome. Unbelievable. That is really I didn't nice. I even know he offered it because I would have done, I, I would have had him doing all my books. At Terrificon, if I knew that was an option, I remember Otto, you were there when we were getting this done, right? Yeah, absolutely. And he takes every pen individually. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Thomas Caps wants a nine nine on this book. Uh, I'm hoping for just a nine eight. So, last book of 2019, Three Men in the Basement live show. We are at a CGC 9.8. At the door. That's it, boys and girls. 9.8. Clayton Crane ends it. For three men in a basement here. Thanks, guys, for showing up. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's unbelievable. So we have a uh, we have a lot to go through for the rest of the night. Those are some great polls. We've been pulling out stuff left and right. Everybody's been hanging out with us. We're we're, we're just around. 
a minute, but you know what? It's time. I got to get this book out of my presence. I need to move this book. Uh, I'm going to give you some stats on this book, and I'm going to talk about it one more time. This book was donated by our sponsor, Rocket Comics. Roger, can I have the uh, that sheet of paper right there? This? Yeah, this is Lethal Protector number one. The stats on this book are um, it went to East Coast Comic Con. It went to a private signing with David Michelini. It went to Heroes Convention in North Carolina. It went to North Texas Comic Book Show. It went to a private signing with uh, Marie Javins. It went to San Diego. The book has traveled 18,000 miles. Um, Al Milgram signed it. Danny Fingeroff, Dave Michelini, Mike Zeck, Mark Bagley, Sandy LaRosa, Marie Javins, and Richard Starkings all signed this book. Yes. Somebody's going to win this book right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I can't hold on to this book anymore. So, <laughs> you know, this is the first, yeah, man, for me, this is the first giveaway. Yeah. I, you know what? I can't win it. Roger can't win it. I can't win it. I can't win it. Uh, so we hope it goes to a good home. More importantly, we appreciate all the support, all you guys sharing our videos, yeah, absolutely. liking, commenting, and all that stuff. So, Justin, without further ado, adieu. hold on to your butts. All right, guys. This is the uh, 1,000 number one. All right, man. Here we go. We're doing right. this one last time. Go. It's going to Wisconsin. Oh, it's going to somebody. Pick the winner. Here we go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> winner is Repair Tech Tony. Oh, yeah. Repair Tech Tony. What an interesting name. Wow. Really good. Repair Tech Tony. Really enjoy the unboxing and spec talk. One thing I'd like to see you guys do moving forward is improve the audio on con videos, which I'm sure is tough with all the background noise. It doesn't show me, doesn't stop me from watching those videos, but it would be. Make for a better viewing experience. Keep, yes, keep all the content that coming, guys. Yeah, we're that's definitely there. something uh, we're definitely going to be doing uh, going forward. Yeah, so we love going to cons. So, no, we love it. We love doing the videos and stuff like that. So, Repair Tech Tony, uh, find me on Instagram, Everett underscore Otto. Uh, maybe you can. Maybe anybody can DM me on Facebook, uh, Otto Grotto, uh, Facebook Messenger me to get that stuff out. I got lots of stuff to get out to you guys, so I want to get it out as soon as possible. So please, you know, I'm going to box this stuff up. Um, you guys deserve it. You've all been part of what we're doing. So just really excited to get this stuff out to you guys. Um, and, I mean, that is it, man. What a hell of a show. Yeah. CGC unboxing, yeah. stuff like that. Uh, Justin, is there anything else we want to talk about real quick? Uh, no, I mean, I think we, we nailed everything. I mean, we talked about, again, in our comic swap. We talked about what I did today with Metropolis Comics, our unboxing. Yeah. Give them uh, a reminder about the uh, – the dates of the comic swap. Yeah. Yeah. So um, again, um, comic swap is going to be February 29th. It'll be one to five p.m. in Roselle Park, New Jersey, at Frenchie's Bar and Grill. Frenchies. If anybody has any information or wants to know anything, because I've actually got a couple of people that have contacted me via Instagram and asked me what a comic swap is and what did it, you know, what's it all about. Hey, it's a great time. Like uh, like Otto said, if you want to come just to kind of walk through, it's almost like a small time show where you can either buy stuff, you can even bring stuff to trade. You know, you can set up if you want to set up, just, you know, contact one of us and, you know, we'll be more than, you know, more than married to have. Yeah. So, uh, it's definitely going to be a good time. You know, once we get closer to the closer to the date, you know, I'll probably have a big private email going through the people that are attending as far as setting up just to get everybody on board. Uh, <clears throat> And like I said, we're doing trivia. We do raffles. We do uh, some some giveaways. You know, some buy-in stuff. So it's going to be a good time, guys. Uh, that's all I really have for yep. for this. I mean, we can really really end the show. For me, guys, I want to thank everybody who checks out all of our videos, all of my videos, all of the live unboxings that we do. I think everybody here at Three Men in a Basement, we we love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for this past year. We've made leaps and bounds from from last year. Even from before I joined and you guys were just doing it on Instagram live and having to start over every hour once yeah. once an hour. But once, so, it, once it shuts down. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was the best. Like it would go and then it would end and then you'd have to start a new one. So yeah. uh, everybody in the live chat, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, like Otto said, we we do we are having a schedule. So our next live show for January is January 10th. And then one after that is for January 24th. We do have some stuff lined up. We are looking to have some guests come on. So be on the lookout for that. Once we officially confirm them, we will let you know who will be on. 
Uh, I'm really excited for if the January one comes through. So, um, yeah. yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm really happy for everyone. Uh, it's been a great year for 2019, you know, and I, and I thank those guys in Connecticut, you know, for allowing me to be on here and throwing content and knowledge to all you guys in the YouTube community and IG community. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. As you guys don't know, I brought Mutant Monday back. Uh, Mutant Monday used to be on the Lords of the Long Box before it got taken down. Um, so I've, re I've taken those videos. I've added it. I've got two more loaded up. So for the next two weeks, you'll at least get two more Mutant Mondays. Uh, Roger and I are talking about bringing the hip hop spotlight back. Yeah, Birdie 1869 is all in. He's going to be doing a top 10 for our show. Our goal is to come to you guys every two weeks for a live show. Uh, we're going to do as many CGC unboxings as we possibly can. Justin will be dropping videos. Yeah. Um, so, of course, check out uh, Lords of the Long Box, my boy TiVo, Dark Side Jedi, Manimal. Uh, just doing all the spec lists, all the collector series, all that other stuff. So we're going to wrap it up, man. Roger, any last words? Yeah, I just want to thank everybody for the support over all this, you know, the last year or so. Uh, you know, happy holidays, you know, happy new year to you guys. Hopefully uh, a lot of good things to come in, in 2020. Absolutely. So on behalf of the three men in the basement, on behalf of Lords of the Long Box, that was Justin Nemesis Prime. This is Roger Levesque. I'm Everett Otto, and we are out. Peace. Peace. Go 